The Download All Images extension allows you to easily save images with a wide range of customization features such as file size, dimensions and image type. To begin using this extension, you must first add it to your browser. After this extension has been added to your browser, we then go ahead and pin it to the toolbar. To do this, we left click here on the jigsaw puzzle piece, and then we left click on the pin image. Now we see the icon inside the browser toolbar here. So let's see how this extension works. So we visit an, an example web page here with lots of different image content and data. To get started, we simply go ahead and left click on the icon inside our browser toolbar. Now we notice a pop-up with a progress bar coming across the screen. Here we can see three different types of statistics, the total, images, and saving. So here basically demonstrates the amount of images on the page, and here demonstrates the amount of images that we would save from this page by default based on our current selection criteria. So let's have a look at the options we see within this. So we can basically select what images or download all images from this page. So a good way to see all of the images that we're currently looking to download is by selecting the gallery option here. And this shows all of the images that we would look to download by default on our current selection. We can go ahead and select none of these, select them all, or manually remove and add these onto our list. But let's have a look at the criteria here. So first of all, we can set file size. For example, we can say that we need the files to be at least 4,000 bytes big. That instantly takes us down from 84, simply down to 12. Go ahead and look at the gallery. We can see the 12 images inside of here. Or we can say they have to have a maximum file size. So they minimum zero, maximum 2,000 which then means we're saving 75 images. If this were to be 1,000, it's then 69 images, and so on and so forth. You then also have the option below this to skip or save if a value is unknown. So if for whatever reason we can't determine the size of an image, should we skip it or should we just down download or save it by default? And these are the options here, skip or save by default. And as you can see, there are five images that we have unknown file sizes relating to. Here we see the same criteria for the dimension of images. So for example, we can say it's a minimum width of 200. This then means we're only going to download 15. Or if we put a minimum width of zero, but maximum of 200, this then means we only download 14 images and we just don't define the height here. And here we can see maximum width 200 means we can download 79 images. If we wanted to, we can then mix and match these criteria. So we can have dimensions and file size as well. So if we say the minimum is 1,000 and maximum is unlimited, this is then 10. We can also select our image type. So we can have all images, JPG images, PNG images, GIF images, and we can select multiple options here for the image formats. We can also standard default what we want the image to save as if there's no default extension. So if that can't be determined, it's a JPG. Again, we can look at the gallery and this shows us the images that currently match our search criteria. Next, we can come down and we can set a certain other piece of information. So for example, looking at the gallery, we can see there is an image here called colorpicker.gif. Well, if we go ahead and in the blacklist here, write the word color and take this off. Now, we're only saving two images rather than the three because we're removing any image that includes the word color inside of it. So this can be used for multiple different ranges of um, things to select what images you want to grab from a page and which images you don't based on the keywords that are being picked up. You can also expand upon this further with regular expressions. We then have the ability to set other miscellaneous options as well as the file names or mask that we want to give it, as well as selecting where we wish to save the file inside um, of our computer. So for example, here we can select to save it inside a zip folder and it's gonna be inside this directory name, which is gonna be inside our default download folder. We can also select preferences for things such as alerts. 
So what we have whittled down our image list, so for example, we have three here, we can copy or save. So if we go ahead and click copy and allow this, what it's going to go ahead and do it is download a list essentially of all the files that we're going to copy. For save, we go ahead and click save and it's downloaded this HTML zip folder with the files inside here as well. So as you can see, this extension has a lot of different capabilities behind it and it allows you to easily find lots of different image types on the page, whether it's inside CSS, it's background images, um, it's different formats, it's inside URLs or iframes, it allows you to grab all of this different media data.